Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. Now guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about Sean Diddy Combs attorney, Mark Agnafilo, saying that his client, Sean Diddy Combs, will not take a plea deal. Now, let's get into it because during a sit down with TMZ, Diddy's attorney, Mark Agnafila said that his client will fight this case, not just for himself, but for others in similar position. Now, you guys might be asking, what similar position are they talking about? As I've told you all, as I've told you all yesterday, when Sean Diddy Combs made it clear that he's going to take the stand, that was a strong message that he was sending to his handlers. And also, I've been doing some checks and there's a past clip of Sean Diddy Combs saying that politicians and these people, they use black men and then they are highly hypocritical against black men, which means Sean Diddy Combs, I believe he had two choices. He could have chosen to take the straight and narrow path, but he chose to take this path because if you knew that consciously that they use black people and discard them like nothing, why would you fall for their trick? Because that's what happened to you, okay? That's what happened. But let's continue with this report because Agnafilo says that Diddy says he's innocent. So he sees no reason to take a plea deal, even if prosecutors offers it. And Mark Agnafilo says Diddy isn't just fighting for himself. He's using his case to inspire others who believe they're facing government persecution wanting to it wanting to inspire them to fight back when the feds bring the hammer down Diddy knows that he's facing government persecution and it's not just government as in the legal system the handlers that he works for the you know powerful political figures not just from the united states but from but from other countries as well now did he saying his family is on his mind as well and he wants to prove to his family he's the same man they've always known. Hmm. Well, as we know, everyone have different personality. Did his family know him? His kids may know him to be one thing, but then there are people who knows him to be something else. Because we know that there have been long reports of his violent behavior and aggression towards other people. Take, for example, that nightclub shooting with Jennifer Lopez. And a second example that we could use is him beating that um, producer because the video wasn't edited to his um, desire, a music video, a project that they were working on. And he stepped into a building and he beat that executive to a pulp with witnesses. So, I mean, this family can always know him to be that sweet, calm, you know, loving, caring kind of person. But there are other people like Casa Ventura, you know, as we've seen on that clip, Cassie did meet the harsh side of Diddy. Many people say Cassie is guilty as Diddy. Well, you know, if you're being brainwashed and abused by someone after a time, you think that it's normal. But once you mature and you get to step outside and escape your abuser, you realize that the life you were living was definitely disgusting and there was absolutely nothing normal about that lifestyle. And I believe that's what happened to Cassie. I digress if I'm wrong, but I don't believe I am. But guys, that's all I have to share in this video with you all. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Thumbs up, share, stay safe, stay sweet, and see you guys later. Bye, guys.